looks new on it. With my head floating around. Yeah. I uh, thought it would be quite an interesting video to talk about a little experiment I've been doing recently with the Jellies library and FreeJS. So what are you looking at? You know, obviously it's my face, but there's a this sort of model of a wireframe which is tracking me around. I can't break it if I do that, if I move too fast, but... Um, yeah, so I'm using JLiz, which is a, it's like a face detection. It's like it's quite a good library. It's, it's quite an expanded. It's like one that's commonly used for um, adding face filters and stuff like Snapchat-like filters with JavaScript, and of course FreeJS as well. I'm using a bit. So it tr there's basically what this is is there's, there's a, there is a JSON file with model data, which is the the head model basically. And then there's a, I like it's kind of confusing to me because like I just a lot of this is scumped to give a code, but um, it's using JLiz and it tracks my head and it puts the mask over my head of the wireframe model. And this looks quite weird. It looks quite funky, I think. Quite like the effect of it. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just do a code overview, I guess. We've just got a HTML page. Uh, load in Jailers, the library, minified, free, some other stuff. Main JS. I'll just look at that because that's where I'm, the actual code I've written is. So I think I um, got the actual setup for this. Like a copied uh, one of the examples from Jailer's library. Um, yeah, I had to... There's, there's like a neural net here. I don't even exactly know what this does. It's a JSON file. But without, it does seem to work if you... Uh, so yeah, I have to add the, the path here. Anyway, I'm going to get ahead of myself. I guess... Where the actual mask is added is here where it says in it function in it free free scene and then we're doing a for each for each face object that's detected it's loading the buffer geometry with free so that's why it's using free um, face mesh mask which is a file here mask mesh is a JSON file I had a lot of trouble with that actually like uh, I had to um, um, I had a lot of trouble with it basically like uh, I had a lot of trouble with this because just converting an OBJ or something to JSON but I did find this this sort of like head and neck 3d model so which is already in JSON format so I just use that it's actually but it doesn't matter too much and then compute vertex normals adding a mesh normal material um, I think that just adds like a. I think it's a random color at the minute. It does no specific color. You make it, make that actual mesh being made there. And then, this is where the wireframe make it give it a wireframe. La 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 la. And then yeah, make line segments. Use, this is all using FreeJS basically. Anyway, so that's how it's doing that. So imagine, I mean, if I took off, I could I could just add face objects, add and then add uh, just uh, the um, the mask. I think if I'm on the mask mesh, I can actually add the mask mesh. I'll do that quickly just to show you. you can do it. If I do that, go off here. This will add the actual mesh with no, um, with, with not of the wireframe at all. So, there we go. So yeah, you can see, is that's the model without the, the wireframing, which makes it look 
It's sort of weird, actually. So I'll switch it back because I don't want to leave it like that. But yeah, um, I don't know what the point of showing that is. It's just an experiment I've been working on. Um, a sort of uh, switch. All the changes randomly, and now it's back to the wireframe mesh. Let's see if it. But yeah, I mean, if there's a GitHub for this, you want to check it out. There's not much to it. I've got the, like I said, I've got the Jailers library in there. It's just a HTML page with some um, libraries like Free Minified JS, Free JS Minified, Jailers library in there, uh, and then much main is just the my JavaScript that I've added. And then, well, there's that actually I should say. On load, it loads main, but I don't know. Is it like I said? This is pretty much just a quick little, real dirty experiment I've done. I probably need to improve some of it, I guess. Um, well, I thought I'd show that quickly. You can check it out if you want to look at something quite quickly. That's just using face tracking. I mean, you could obviously do lots of different things with this. You could. Uh, one thing I wanted to do actually was experiment with creating face deformations so um, so that I could like warp my image somehow but I've not really figured out how to do that yet um, yeah I've not really figured out how I could do it so that I could for example like make I don't know, click on the canvas and then just make and obviously this is a canvas as well I should have said that actually um, with a tile actually yeah I mentioned that so uh, canvas, which is where the webcams renders, gel is G face filter canvas. And if you look on here, I think it's in here somewhere. I'm not sure it's mentioned somewhere. There we go. Canvas ID, and then that's the canvas ID there. So that needs to be the whatever you've said it to G face filter canvas. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything. Obviously, you can you can break the. I mean, it's quite interesting sometimes. You can even do this, like, like yeah. If I break the image, it sort of breaks the recognition a bit, as you'd expect, I guess. So I could do this, like, oh, it breaks it completely, but it moves it a bit. Then it's. And sometimes it's very like in sync, sometimes it's a bit less. But yeah, what can you do? So that's that. So check out GitHub, I guess, if you want to look at it.